morning to all today we are going to see the chapter number 3 introduction to dbms part 1 introduction to dbms dbms stands for database management system so database is a place where we store the data retrieve the data and manage the data in the database various operations are there using that is storing retrieving and filtering retrieving means to store the data we need in future we can see the data that is called as retrieve and filtering means we need the students those who are secured above 90 means we can set a condition marks greater than 90 so as per condition they display one report okay this is called as filtering okay so some of the popular database management system is mysql oracle okay what type of data is stored in a database so in database grouping only related together storing them under one group name is called table so simple example for mark sheet you are preparing a mark register we put one table no serial number name as well as the subjects tamil english commerce accountancy economics computer science and then after together total and then rank so this is called as one table the table is containing of rows and columns okay children so this table is named as mark register okay so evolution of database the concept of storing a data before 40 years in various formats in early days they are using punch card technology to store the data the file system or the predecessor of the database management system in the access methods they are using in file system are indexed and random sequential what is meant by index in front page of the textbook they are indexed no so the in the index what are the topics are given with the help of page numbers or there and random means what is the meaning of random okay if your teacher is conducting test means oral test they are asking in random no so roll number 1 and roll number 7 and roll number 18 this is called as random and sequential means it comes by order 1 by 1 these are the various access methods using in database system and database file management system so next we are moving to limitation so in the limitation there are three topics are there data duplication high maintenance and security so what is meant by data duplication multiple copies of same data wasting the spaces okay children high maintenance access control and verifying data consisting needs high maintenance cost so security here the less security is provided to the data so become popular overcome the limitations of file system next we move to dbms concept children in that rdbms and odbms are there rdbms means, means relational database management system odbms means object oriented database management system that is object database management system so next we move to acid properties so important topic children so acid means atomicity consistency isolation durability again is atomicity consistency isolation durability what is meant by atomicity it follows the thumb rule it follows the thumb rule that is all or nothing while updating the data in database for using the performing update operation so up, update operation is called as transaction in that one is update successfully or update failure two conditions are there okay children again atomicity follows the thumb rule here the here they are using update operation so in that after the up, update operation updation fa, uh, success or updation failure okay next we move to consistency consistency data value to be constant data value to be constant at given instance this property help us helpful for successful transaction so in consistency data value be constant okay next we move to isolation property when multiple users are doing the transaction by accessing the same objects that same time the transaction is known as concurrent transaction 
again i am saying when multiple users are doing the transaction by same object at the same time this transaction is known as concurrent transaction okay children to prevent the conflict database update transaction or isolated database transaction or isolated and other users and serialized this is known as degree of consistency in isolation property multiple users do the transaction by accessing the same object in the same time okay so next durability is the last topic is defined as systems ability recommend to all committed transaction recommend to recover all committed transaction during the failure storage of the system okay next concurrency and control locking its dbms mechanism so used for sharing mainly it is used for sharing when same data is stored among multiple users proper access control is needed proper access control is needed privilege changing application data item is controlled through locking so in that concurrency control locking is very useful in dbs mechanism okay children